Hey guys, MCU Collector here with a new video, a new figure review, and here we have the Ultimate Riders Captain America figure with motorcycle. Now this is the sixth figure in the Ultimate Riders line. First we got Ghost Rider and Black Widow, then we got Wolverine, then we got Deadpool and Professor X. Now we have Captain America, and we know the next two figures in the wave are going to be the Cosmic Ghost Rider and Squirrel Girl, and we saw those reveals at San Diego Comic Con. In person, those figures looked absolutely amazing. Uh, so kudos to Hasbro on doing some great things and doing some new things like the Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's a pretty new character, I believe. Um, and we're already going to get that in figure form with a whole new motorcycle. It's not going to be a reused uh, motorcycle like this one here is being reused for the third time. Uh, but the Squirrel Girl scooter is the same scooter that Deadpool came with. So naturally, of course, we're going to get those kinds of things. But I am excited for those because two brand new characters can't wait. Here we have this Captain America, which is more of a ultimate, um, ultimate universe Captain America, I believe. Um, or it could just be kind of a World War II thing, but I believe it's kind of based on the Ultimate um, the Ultimate Universe, the Ultimate Comics. So, pretty cool nonetheless. Can't wait to get this open. I did get this on eBay. Um, I think Hasbro Pulse, of course, had it available. Um, and then I think some online retailers such as Entertainment Earth are just now starting to ship out to you guys. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, real cool. Captain America here. We get this Captain America logo on the top. You can see it there. Uh, pretty cool. Side artwork looking pretty awesome of Captain America as I zoom out so you can see it. So that looks great. Here on the back of the package we get a look at the figure. Um, with the motorcycle, some of those promo shots, and then closer looks at the figure and the motorcycle. The previous two figures in the wave, Deadpool and Professor X. Let's take a look at that bio. Captain America, when Steve Rogers joins the top secret super soldier program during World War II, he emerges as the incredibly strong and fiercely patriotic hero, Captain America. So pretty awesome. Here is the UPC. I'm not sure if that's going to help you guys with anything, but there it is. There is the figure. Let's get this guy opened up. Okay, here is the Captain America and the motorcycle out of the package, and really this should have come with a disclaimer of some assembly required because um, there's a lot of different pieces and stuff that kind of comes um, with it. So you got to put the handlebars on, the saddlebags, the ammo uh, pack, the windshield, which was originally on there but came off as I removed it from the package. Uh, the gun holster um, and everything needs to all kind of attach to that. So another thing to be uh, careful for, so these tail lights, so you have one here on this side and one on the other side. Mine was floating around in the package so it kind of broke off. Not that it broke off, it's, it's kind of glued on there. Um, so I kind of just glued it right back on. Usually that kind of thing bothers me, you know, if I'm spending the money on something like this. Um, there shouldn't be any issues, uh, but be careful because you know the motorcycles pack in the package If anything hits it in the front I can kind of knock it out. So I'm sure that's what happened there um, So let's get right to that and assemble this motorcycle and get these pieces all on there Okay, so let's get this thing together. So the windshield is just going to kind of rest inside here um, Because you can see that it just You know, it's going to slip in and kind of holds in place. It doesn't snap in or anything like that It just kind of sits there uh, the handlebar, I know that was kind of tricky before with the other one, so I'm actually going to take the windshield off for this portion, but you see it's just going to port right on in there. Like so, make sure it's down all the way, fits on there nicely. Now we can put the windshield back on there. saddlebag so we know here we got the two ports and then this because of this part that sticks out right there it's gonna go right inside there and so we're just gonna port that in and then that's actually it so it doesn't port ah right there that's why you know the, the, the Wolverine one was actually the same exact way but I had forgotten about it and I remember in that video I never even noticed that little slot right there. Okay, so this is just going to rest over the rear fender of the motorcycle. You, so you see um, that port there and that peg, it's just going to port right on in there so it'll kind of stay in place. This saddle bag just kind of floats there on this side, but this side is the one that actually ports into the body of the motorcycle to help keep it in place. Additionally, along with this piece pegging in the back and you can hear that clip so it actually holds in place so the saddlebags are on 
here this ammo pack looking at it right there that's actually pretty cool so you got some silver paint added right there to give it that uh, like the paint has been kind of scratched off and worn out so I kind of like that little bit of attention to detail there so that's pretty cool one thing is you could see how either the paint is or the plastic is there I'm not sure if it was done on purpose but the way that it looks it looks like it could have been dented kind of thing based on how the light reflects on it so it's probably an inadvertent little detail but I kind of do like the way that looks the sculpt of this thing is nice we have a handle that's there um, they didn't do it a different color paint or anything but the, like the details that are on there um, we have a couple of ports here so this thing right here it's just going to port right on in. And it just sits in place like so. And then here for the gun holster, same thing. It's going to port right on the sides there. which that obviously does not look right. So let me double check the picture, the figures. That's the way it shows it. I guess that th that is correct. See, this kind of looks odd to me that it would go, that that's how it would pour in in the front. Cause really, how's he supposed to, I thought it would have gone, gone back. So, you know, he could reach for it, but that's how it sits. I'm looking at, the picture on the back of the package and that's how it is it looks kind of weird to me but there is the completed motorcycle okay so looking at the accessories that are in addition to the motorcycle that actually come with the figure so here we have a handgun that's just done in all black paint this is actually already holstered um, with the figure out of the package so it's already in there we have the knife which was not already in there and that was showing and we have the sheath right there on the side of the boot so we're just going to kind of slip that in. Whoops, I just bent it like crazy. We're just going to slip that in and leave that there. Here is the gun that came in that long um, holster. And that looks pretty good. It's just all black paint. I'm not sure what kind of gun this is. I'm sure some of you guys will know. Um, and then, of course, that can get then slipped right on in. It's a little bit difficult as the, the, the holster is attached to the motorcycle because it wants to come right off and then we also have this Captain America shield which is more of a classic uh, look before he got the vibranium round one and here we have the horrible horrible clip that I won't even put on his arm because I know what's gonna happen I'll snap this clip um, so funny thing is when I had first seen him like oh that's you know that's the same shield that came with the Peggy Carter uh, and Captain America two-pack um, and then I saw the clip, but now that I'm looking at it, you can see these pieces are the same as that other shield. It's just they had the the different kind of um, the way of holding it where, you know, he had the straps that you could just put his hand through um, or put onto his hand. So I like that way more than I like this clip because those um, break very e easily. So be careful with that. And I kind of like the way that looks. You can see a little bit of that red, a little bit high into the blue, but that does look really good. Okay, let's take a look um, at the motorcycle again. Okay, so looking at the motorcycle, there's not a lot of paint to it, uh, but there's some. For the most part, the motorcycle is almost entirely uh, this army green. We get a little bit of white paint for the white star there. They actually painted the motor on this one, whereas the two previous ones, they didn't even do that. So at least we got the engine painted, so they did a black, and then with the silver wash, um, over it and I think that looks pretty good because it kind of looks worn out and stuff but you know a little bit of separation you could see the engine so I like that um, the, the exhaust pipes are they painted all black so they're not silver or chrome or anything they were silver or grayish with the the other previous uh, motorcycle so I kind of like that there's a little bit of orange paint on the tail lights um, this side the motor is painted as well um, and not a whole lot going on there. We have a little decal for the odometer and the gauges. 
little bit of silver sticker, I believe, for the mirror there. Black on the handlebars. Um, you get a headlight there, and then just like on the ammo pack, we get a little bit of that silver wash here on this front fender, which kind of shows you some a little, a uh, little bit of paint wear. So I like that we got some of that detail. I uh, wish it was kind of throughout the rest of the motorcycle as well, uh, but we just get it there. The seat is the same brown as the saddlebags for that leather look, and I like the texture of it to make it look realistic like that. We actually get silver paint on the buckle for the saddlebags. That's pretty cool. Here on the side as well, and on the other one. So, not bad. Now let's take a look at Captain America. Okay, so here is an up-close look at Captain America, and this figure looks pretty good. Now, there's some of these things that we have seen uh, before. This helmet is very similar to the one we got in the 80th, um, 80th anniversary line uh, for Captain America, the first Avenger with Peggy Carter, the Amazon exclusive. Um, except this one doesn't have the goggles on top, but it's the same concept. It just fits over his head. Um, so without the helmet, this is how Captain America Steve Rogers looks. So it's kind of funky. I'm not sure why they didn't just sculpt the helmet as part of the head. I think it would have looked uh, much better. In this case, the helmet doesn't look too big, but um, in my opinion, on the movie version, it does look a little bit big. Now, all these these straps, um, buckles, the pouches, and everything, this is the same that that uh, movie Captain America figure uses. Uh, so that is the same. We get some silver paint through here and through some of the buckles and everything, especially the large buckle there. You know, we can holster the pistol there. And then these arms are actually the same as that figure, that Captain America figure. Kind of gives it this leathery look, which I don't know which would be exactly accurate to this figure, but they kind of have some of that texture in the upper torso. But the torso is different from that figure. You could see it's got the buttons for the uniform to strap there. One thing that's kind of weird is how they sculpted that in there. And I wonder if that's to get this belt to a fit because that looks, you know, it's fine when it's on there. You don't notice that. But then you look at that sculpt thinking, why did they do that? But that has to be the reason why. You could see the red and white paint uh, paint apps are pretty clean. No, no complaints there. Now these legs are the same legs from that Captain America movie figure. Um, we have this pouch that's strapped on, so we get brown for the strap, but the pouch is still all blue. All blue on this side, so not a whole lot going on. We get a little bit of brown there. We have that knife that we sheathed in. The boots are brown, um, or the covers, the shin guards, and then black for the boots. And one thing that's kind of weird, as you could see, the right boot is matte. The left boot is shiny. Why is that? So matte and gloss boots. I guess you couldn't match. That's really weird. Okay, so let me know down in the comments below. If you got this figure, how are your boots? Are they glossy or are they matte? I'm curious because it's supposed to be one of them. Not sure which one it's supposed to be. Or are they all like that? You guys let me know down in the comments below, but let's check out his articulation. Okay, so in looking at the articulation of Captain America, I'm going to remove that helmet so we can take a better look at the, at the way his head moves. So the head can look all the way down, except you kind of get this weird look on how you put it on the peg with the neck. It sits kind of high. He can look all the way up. So his, yeah, you can see how that head looks. It's a little, a little funky the way it sits on that neck. But, you know, from the front, it doesn't really look so bad. But then when you kind of go around, um, it's pretty noticeable. So, one of those things. Arms can go up that high, so good motion there, full uh, 360. There's a upper bicep swivel. You get a double jointed elbow, which actually works out quite well. Swivel at the wrist and hinge, and you get the same on both sides. There's no ab crunch, there's a diaphragm joint, so this figure, he can move to the side slightly, move to the other side slightly, so not actually a whole lot. He can actually crunch down forward um, a bit and it kind of unpopped all the pouches and everything, but you can see a big old gap there. There's also a peg hole in the back of the figure so you can actually port the, uh, the shield right into his back. So that's pretty cool. Crunching back, he can go back a decent amount, but again, doing so keeps popping this um, 
peg right out of there. Uh, there is no waist swivel on this guy. There should be, there it is. So waist swivel there. Mine was stuck. I'm sure most of them will probably come out the same way. Legs can go out that far apart. He can kick forward that much. Can kick back a little bit. There is an upper thigh cut there. You get a double jointed elbow with a very ugly knee bend. Very ugly knee bend. There is a boot swivel as well. And the foot hinges down, hinges up, and you do get ankle pivot. So good range of motion there. Now let's see how he goes with the motorcycle. Okay, and there's Captain America on the motorcycle. So he sits on there nicely. The legs can reach the pedals and everything, the foot rests. Um, so that's pretty good. The, the tricky thing is the handlebars are kind of thick, so it's hard to kind of get those hands onto those handlebars. You kind of have to work it a little bit to get them on there. So I got this one, and then as I was working it, I kind of had a hard time getting this one on there, so I just kind of left it without. Um, but I think that does look pretty good. One of the definitely frustrating things that keeps happening with this is this ammo pack keeps falling off. The gun keeps falling off, so I just have to keep moving around. So it just gets a little bit aggravating, but once you kind of get it on there, put it up on your shelf, shouldn't be a problem. But if you're going to be kind of doing some things, taking some pictures, those things are probably going to keep falling off. It may drive you a little bit nuts, but there it is. So I like the way that looks. So here we have Captain America um, with his motorcycle. And then from the other motorcycles from this wave, we also have Ghost Rider as well as Wolverine. So there are our three motorcycles. We also had Black Widow, but she had a, um, a more of a racing bike, so it's not the same. These three all use the same um, body of the motorcycle. A couple of different things are different. This has this add-on clip piece, which is different. The front here is different than this one, but the rest of the body um, is the same. I mean, these pegs and everything are all the same. So those all look pretty good. I really like the way those look together. Let's do one final comparison with this Captain America figure with the movie figure. Okay, so here are the two Captain America figures, and you can see that there are a lot of similarities between the two. So the differences are the torso pieces and the heads, of course, are different. Um, but the helmets can kind of be moved around a little bit. So here's this one, no goggles and just an A. And here's the one with goggles from the movie figure. So that one can just as easily go over there. But he doesn't really need the goggles, of course, because he does have goggles in that mask that he is wearing here. If we wanted Steve Rogers without the goggles, it actually fits really high. So that's actually odd that it doesn't even fit the same. And I think that's because of the hair piece. Whereas this other one, of course, didn't have the hair piece. It had that smooth uh, mask portion. So that's why the helmets don't fit. But there they are. Legs all the same. The accessories really all the same. There you have it. Okay, and there is your final look at the Captain America figure in the Ultimate Riders series. Uh, Captain America World War II with the motorcycle. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the figure. You guys going to be picking it up? Um, I just looked. Entertainment Earth is actually pre-sold out. I'm not sure if they're going to be getting any more, um, but I'm sure other retailers may have it available. Which stores this will hit? Who knows? I guess the Deadpool had gone clearance at Target. Um, I think Walmart you know, stopped carrying these in store depending on the size of the Walmart. Um, but a lot of these things are going to be online. I'm sure GameStop will have it. Check your local comment shops, that sort of thing. You guys let me know what you guys thought of the review. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys like it. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.